Welcome to Maths Easy. Hello friends, there is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels. I am here for the same. Today in this video, I am going to solve chapter linear equations of class 7. Exercise 7.3, question number 5 to 8. So if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapters of class 7, that is integers, decimals, and uh, linear equation, of course, you can go by the playlist where all the solution videos are available. Moreover, I have solved many chapters of class 8. The chapters are rational numbers, square and square roots, exponents, cube and cube roots, playing with numbers, linear equations in one variable, percentage and its applications, probability, surface area and volume, algebraic expressions, factorization of algebraic expressions, and so on. So if you guys want to see the solution of those chapters, you can go by the playlist. For going through the playlist, you have to subscribe to the channel. So please do subscribe, do hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible. So now let's start with the question number five of exercise 7.3. So question number five says, the length of a rectangle is four times the breadth. If the perimeter is 125 meter, find the length and breadth of the rectangle. So first, how we'll start this question. Let the breadth be x. So length is given as four times the breadth. So length of rectangle, what would it become? 4x means four times. Now, according to the question the perimeter of a rectangle that is equal to what is perimeter of rectangle we all know 2 into l plus b so we will apply that formula here so 2 into length is 4x and breadth is x and is equal to 125 which is given to us now multiply it it would become 10x equal to 125. How 10x? 4x plus x would become 5x. 2 into 5 is equal to 10x. So x would become 125 divided by 10. That would be equal to 12.5 meter. Now, breadth is coming out to be as 12.5 meter. Now, length of rectangle. What would it become? 4x means 4 into 12.5. Multiply it. 12.5 into 4. fifty meter. So hope the question is quite clear. So, so breadth is equal to 12.5 meter. And length is equal to 50 meter. And these both are the answers hope the question is clear let's move to the next question so question number six is in a school the number of female teachers is 11 more than the number of male teachers if the total number of teachers in the school is 55, how many are male and how many are female? So how would we start it? We would start it by letting or by assuming the number of male teachers. So let the number of male teachers, what would it become? Equal to X. So the number of female teachers would become what x plus 11 because the female teachers are given as 
11 more than the male teachers. Now make the equation x means male teachers plus female teachers is equal to total how much is given to us 55. So 2x plus 11 equal to 55. 2x equal to 55 minus 11. So x equal to 44 by 2. 22. So how would we write it? We would write. Therefore, number of male teachers what would it become it would become 22 and number of female teachers x plus 11 means 22 plus 11 that is 33 so hope both the questions are clear so number of male teachers are 22 and number of female teachers are 33. This are, these, the, these are the answers. Now let's move to the question number 7. So question number 7 is Tinku is 5 years younger than his brother. If the sum of their ages is 43 years now, find their present ages and their ages 2 years later. So how would we start the question? We would start, let the age of Tinku the age of Tinku B X this is the present age okay so let the present age of Tinku be X so present age of brother would become what X plus 5. Because brother is 5 years older, we can say Tinku is 5 years younger than his brother. Now make the equation. Tinku's age plus brother's age. This is Tinku's age. This is brother's age. Is equal to how much? 43. 2x plus 5 equal to 43. So 2x is equal to 43 minus 5. x would be equal to 43 minus 5 means 38 by 2. So we can write present age of Tinku is how many years? 19 years. And present age of brother would become what? X plus 5 means 19 plus 5, 23, 24 years. Twenty-four years, and we also have to find age of both Tinku and his brother two years later. So we would write two years later age of Tinku be Nineteen plus two, twenty one years, and age of brother, how much? Twenty four plus two means twenty six years. So these are the answers. Brother's age, two years later, T 
it goes age two years later and it goes present age and brother's present age if any type of doubt is there feel free to ask your doubt by commenting into the comment box Now let's move to the question number eight. So question number eight says, Pinky's mother's age is four years more than three times Pinky's age. If the sum of their ages is 44 years, find the age of Pinky's mother. So start the question by assuming the age of Pinky. Let the age of Pinky be X. So mother's age would become how many years? Three X plus four because mother is three times four years more than the Pinky's age. So add up both the ages. And it will be equal to 44 years. So 4x plus 4 equal to 44. 4x equal to 44 minus 4. x equal to 40 by 4. 10. So Pinky's present age is 10 years. And mother's, we have been asked... To find out mother's age, that would be equal to 3x plus 4 means 3 into 10 plus 4. That would be equal to 30 plus 4 means 34 years. This is our answer. 34 years, yeah. Answer. So... It was all about from question number 5 to question number 8 of exercise 7.3, chapter linear equations. So if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible. Thank you so much.